Incoming transmission. Picture this. A recording studio somewhere far, far away. Welcome, watchers of Illusion, to my castle of confusion. It is the 30th of October, and I'm playing Captain Dynamo on the ZX Spectrum with 128K, which is great because you've got sound effects or you can have music, which is rather splendid. See here that the, uh, it is basically a vertical scroller, and you've got to collect all the gems along the way and reach the top of the screen to get to your other teleport system. And progress to the next level. Now I've never played this before so if I'm crummy at the gameplay that's why. Um, and talking of which by the way if you're going to criticize me for being a bad game player that's fine but I actually do reviews so bad gameplay or not I bring you an honest version of the game and a uh, opinion that is my own so there you go. Constructive feedback is brilliant by the way folks but rude comments will just get erased so please think before you post. Anyway, this is Captain Dynamo by Codemasters. Um, I love the little sprite. He's, he's really small on the screen, but I guess that gives a bit more option for uh, a lot more to get on uh, in the memory, I guess, of the uh, good old Specky. Uh, this was towards the end of the cycle, I think, of the uh, Codemasters games for the, uh, re the old retro systems. Um, I love the layout. The, uh, the bottom um, heads-up display there is really nice. With the giant diamond there. And the scoreboard you can see down the bottom left hand corner. And uh, everything else in between. There's the diamond count there just underneath the big diamond. So that's really cool. You've got your lives on the bottom right hand corner. And uh, a lot of this is timing based. So you've got to be careful as you progress up the stages. Now I can, I think there's, there must be a way you can jump higher. Um, I think maybe the longer you hold the fire button the, the higher you jump. I'm not quite sure. But it does seem to be a little inconsistent. Let's try again. Um, but you can see that the, the, the screen has uh, hazards as you go up and make your way to the top. So you've got to time everything quite well. There we go. It's, uh, yeah, so there must be a way to get... <laughs> Oops. Yeah, so I'm, so I'm just testing the waters, guys. I've never played this game before. So um, please bear with me as I try and play Captain Dynamo. The sound, by the way, music's brilliant. Absolutely love it. Really, really Codemasters-esque, as you would come to expect from any Codemasters platform game. Um, if you remember the Dizzy series, of course, that had very lively music, and, uh, you know, so did this game, which is nice. Uh, you basically play as the character Captain Dynamo. You've been brought out of uh, retirement. You are a retired superhero. I think the, the Amiga had, uh, had this game, and it was quite colourful, if I remember rightly. Um, so it's, it's probably worth me going and checking the different versions of the game out. Oh, there we go. Get up there now. Cool. So yeah, the longer I think we hold the fire button or we hold the fire button and push up at the same time, one of the two will get you a little higher up in the world. You can see the hazards are there. I like the shines on that, the spikes on the left hand side, they actually gleam. So it gives you an idea of, uh, oh, <laughs> that was close, um, but it gives you an idea of danger. They're not just scenery, they are in fact going to kill you if you hit them, so that's very cool. The conveyor belts are, are rather good as well. It's, um, it's a really well thought out game actually jump onto that thing there and oh look at that and the cape billows out behind us as we make our way across this game is very well designed actually I'm very impressed did any of you guys actually play Captain Dynamo when you had your Specky Amstrad C64 Amiga whichever system you want you had it on I think it's actually been released for mobile phones recently as well in the recent years I should say um, so if you haven't checked out Captain Dynamo retro wise you could probably go and check it out on your phone right now so that would be exciting. But yes, did, uh, any fond memories of uh, these games, Codemasters or otherwise? But did you play? Did you play uh, Captain Dynamo? Did you have? Did you own this? And which system did you own it on? And uh, which system would you like me to have a look at on this next? Would, it, would you like to see the Amstrad version? Would you like to see the C64, the Amiga version? Which which version would you like to see next? Because I will go through it and uh, review everyone anyway, uh, so we can uh, oh hit our head on the spikes and die horribly. Game over. So there's no continues by the, by the look of this. You can see there we've got uh, redefinable keys, Sinclair stick, Kempston, and then start. So that's that start dynamoing. There you go. I like the speech as well. It counts you down and then off we go. Let's see if we can get a bit better run this time. So 
so yes, it's um, I love the animations on the walking. It's really cool. It's like strides across the screen. I've done a good job with that. They've done a very good job with the music. To be fair, I'm probably just being a bit rubbish at this because I've never played it before. Um, but once you get into it, I think you'd actually quite enjoy it. If you're a platforming buff, then you definitely, definitely want to give this one a go. Very Mario Mario esque in the way that you dispatch these worms. You just jump on them and they uh, disappear. And uh, it's it's just very well thought out. But then a lot of Codemasters games were very well thought out, weren't they? Um, but it's nice. It's kind of got an essence of um, Boulder Dash to it, where you collect the diamonds before you exit the stage. I think that's quite cool as well. Bit of a nod to that game as well, which is great. The uh, the graphics are nice. Um, not too much clashing going on, which is which is also very nice, especially for a Spectrum. Uh, you can see here that the, it's very monochrome in places, which gives a great um, a great place to put some colours in at uh, various intervals. Like the uh, so the, the heads-up display at the bottom is, is gorgeous, uh, so that's nice. Um, but also that the uh, there's other things like these uh, electrical generators there. They've got colour on them as well. So they've uh, they've kind of made it a little bit more things where things can stand out at you and sort of punch you in the face a little bit more colour-wise, which is great. Um, the puzzles aren't too taxing, I would say. To get to the top of the screen is uh, a challenge, but it's not unfair. So you've got to time your jumps and make sure you're using the right the right height jump as well to get there. I'm not quite sure what these uh, flashing S's do. If anybody knows, is it just bonus points? Uh, I'm, I'm guessing they're just bonus points because they don't seem to do anything. So if anyone actually knows the answer to that, uh, drop me a note in the comments. It'd be great to hear from you anyway. Um, welcome to new subscribers, by the way. It's great to have you along on the channel. Thank you very much for that. And uh, as always, thanks to my existing uh, subscribers. You guys have managed to keep the channel open for me. Uh, none of my videos are monetized, by the way. Just so you know, I don't get paid for any of this. So just do it for the pleasure of my own sanity I suppose and it's uh, it's good to bring you guys the retro content as well a lot of games that you guys have played over the years a lot of games I've played over the years it's just lovely to come back and actually give them to you with a bit more of an adult perspective because uh, when you played it as a kid every game was awesome am I right yes every game was awesome it's not so much the case these days though is it really a lot of games you think uh, rose tinted glasses perhaps uh, ooh, let's do that and the worm killed me. No. Um, but yeah, it's great to have you all along. And uh, hello to my regular contributors for comments. Uh, it's great to have you along. And if you guys have got any retro trivia on the games that I play, drop those in the comments as well. It's great to actually uh, get a bit of a, a library of comments going uh, regarding the games that I play. It's always good to hear special features and stuff that I'm not too sure about myself. You guys always seem to pull out the card and give me the information that I'm missing, which is fantastic. So uh, I think I'm going to leave it there, folks. It's uh, This has been Captain Dynamo on the ZX Spectrum, 128K. Uh, I've been Rich, and uh, I will see you guys again very soon. Sorry about the lack of updates during the half term, by the way. One, I wasn't very well, and two, it was half term with uh, six kids buzzing around. Not all mine, by the way, but uh, it's, it's very difficult to keep a lid on things. So it's good to be back, and I will see you guys at the next one. Bye for now!